So we're talking about some circle vocab. Uh, you have a list of vocabulary words that you should look up. Really you want to find pictures for these things. It's a very visual idea. Easy to look up, easy to find. Some things you already know. So here's a picture you might find that shows some of the different lines associated with circles. A couple of them are new, a couple of them are old. Some different angles inside. Again, some lines associated with the circle, around the circle, some people might want to say, but actually on the circle, because the circle is actually that line that goes around things. Another part of the line. Again, talking about parts of, uh, parts of the circle and more parts of the circle. So hopefully you found those and know what they are. And f the final one, the shaded part. Formulas you should know. All right, so let's go through some things here. Um, you know the red one is the radius, you know the blue one is the diameter, diameter is going through the center, you all know that. That green one might be new to some of you, that is a chord. A chord goes across the circle. It hits in two places, E, F. If it were to go through the center, it would be called a diameter. Diameter is just a special chord. If I go all the way through the circle and go beyond, you know, GH, a line segment GH is the chord, but the line GH goes off farther is called a secant. And then up here, at the brown one, this is hitting a circle at one point that is called a tangent. And B is the point of tangency. So you might have found pictures like that uh, surfing through the internet. And finally, something like that. The green, again, and the red are angles inside of a circle. Central because it has its vertex at the center. Inscribed, it's written in the circle. Technically, it's on the circle because um, D, F, and E are on the circle. Arcs. Minor is the red one. Major. Uh, we could have gone, you know, I could have taken, instead of going D to E, I could have come up B all the way in E and had to go B, C this way and B, C the long way. Just the different sizes makes it minor or major. And then arcs have a length, which is part of a perimeter. And then we have a sector, which is part of the area of a circle and a segment of a circle. Segment is not just a line segment. They're segments of lines and segments of circles. Segment of a circle is part of a circle. And here is part of the circle. It's the sh it would be a shaded area between a chord and the circle. And then the area basically between two circles. That's called an annulus. Uh, there is a frisbee kind of thing called an aerobie that is m made like that. And the circumference and area formulas, you should know, yes, there's only one two. People like to mash them up and get two twos in there. No, no, each one has one two in it. Just remember where the two goes. So there's a little quiz for yourself to see what, uh, how you can do on that. And then go back through and uh, verify. Hopefully you can get them all right.